introduction bar graphs pi graph a histogram coordinates linear graph application of graph introduction to graphs the purpose of the graph is to show numerical facts in visual form so that they can be understood quickly easily and clearly thus graphs are visual representations of data collected graph is useful when comparison to be shown bar graph a bar graph is used to show comparison among categories like fruits subjects students name etc this is a table of sale of different fruits in the day and this is a graph representing data of table it may consist of two or more parallel vertical or horizontal bars which represent the related data of category bar graphs can also have double bars suppose the data mentioned in the table is of a particular date now next data will be for next date we can represent this data as shown in the graph this graph gives comparative details of sale of various fruits over a two day period pie graph pie graph is used to represent and compare parts of whole the circle represents the whole now suppose we have divide our city population in percentage men are 34% women are 30% boys are 20% and girls are 16% normally to represent such information pie chart is the best option for example the percentage of viewers watching different types of tv channels a histogram suppose we have data in bulk quantity we can group the data into the intervals a histogram is a bar graph that shows data in intervals It has adjacent bars over the intervals. This jagged line indicates that we are not showing intervals from 0 to 10. A line graph displays data that changes continuously over periods of time. When Maria fell sick, her doctor maintained a record of her body temperature taken every 4 hours. It was in the form of a graph. we may call this a time temperature graph it is a pictorial representation of the following data given in tabular form now we look for some important terms related to graph to allocate the position of any point graph is invented we draw a vertical line and a horizontal line as shown now this horizontal line is called x axis and this vertical line is called y axis generally names groups intervals represent on x axis and related numerical data represent on y axis for example name of students represent on x axis and their marks of mathematics represent on y axis coordinates Coordinates are actually the perpendicular distance of a point from x axis and y axis. Suppose this distance of a point from y axis is 3 and this distance of a point from x axis is 4. Therefore the coordinates of point are into bracket 3 4. We can call 3 as x coordinate and 4 as y coordinate. linear graph we have seen line graph these are the broken lines joined point to point if a graph having points such that a continuous line can be drawn the graph is called linear graph application of graph we all pay electric bill right if we consume more electricity electric bill will be more and if we consume less the electric bill will be less here electric bill totally depends on the quantity of the electricity consumed we can say that quantity of electricity is independent variable whereas amount of electric bill 
is dependent variable. Let us see the table showing consumption of electricity and according to that amount of electric bill per month. We can see that the graph is linear graph because amount of bill is varied with respect to consumption of electricity. Summary Graphical presentation of data is easier to understand. A bar graph is used to show comparison among categories. A pie graph is used to compare parts of a whole. A histogram is a bar graph that shows data in intervals. A line graph displays data that changes continuously over periods of time. A line graph which is a whole unbroken line is called a linear graph. For fixing a point on the graph sheet, we need x coordinate and y coordinate. The relation between dependent variable and independent variable is shown through a graph. So that is all in this subtopic. Enjoy mathematics and keep learning.